video we're going to have a look at how you can move your data mining workflows from one schema to another. So we're going to look at how you can export a workflow from one schema and how you can go about importing it into your other schema. A couple things to keep in mind when you go about exporting your workflow is that how do you get to it? So the first thing you need to do you need to be able to log in to your Oracle Data Miner schema click on the, the tree to expand your your projects and your workflow and then you can right click on your workflow name and click on the export and, and follow the instructions. One of the things you can do is you can give it a workflow name and it'll be saved in an XML file format uh, anywhere on your computer or on your server and then upload that. So what we'll do now is we'll go and have a look at a demo. The first step is we need to log into our user. So this is one of the users that we created in the previous video on kind of getting set up and running and installing the repository. And we're also going to use the other user to import it into that we created during that video as well. So the first one contains our initial workflow. So we just have a, a demonstration which is based on the workflow that I created as part of the Oracle Scene magazine article. So there's our workflow. To export it, we right click on the workflow name and we go down to export workflow. We can save it wherever we want. We can call it whatever we want. So we may call it, say, and save. And that should be it done. So if we pull up our Windows Explorer, we can go to our documents. And if we scroll down, we should be able to see our workflow document. OK. The next step, we want to import our workflow into a new schema. Now there's a few things that you need to be aware of before you can go about importing. Uh, the first thing is, do we have the data? Okay, Because when you export it, the, the model and the workflow will have embedded within the data sources the schema which or where the data comes from. So if you have the data located in another schema, so your new schema will need to have the relevant grants uh, and access privileges to be able to get at the data. If that is the case, then everything's fine. If the data resides within your new schema, then you're going to have to edit the data sources in order to point at the new uh, tables. So in this particular case, uh, we should have the data within our new schema. Okay, so let's go and have a demo of that. Okay, let's just minimize our data mining user one and we want to import our schema, our workflow into our data mining user two schema. So let's log into that. Okay, this is an empty one. So what we want to be able to do is to create a new project. Okay, once we have our project created, we can then import the workflow. We go and find it, just in our documents, which is our XML. We open that, and then we follow a series of instructions that uh, are prompted on the screen. So we can give it the workflow name. Okay, so we can call it.
And this is the bit where we need to kind of keep an eye on. So object name management options. Rename the model and output table names if necessary or keep the existing model and output table names even if conflicts exist. This is probably the one that you, you would select most often. Okay, select that. And there we have it. Okay. If we look at the properties from the data source, we can go along and select them if need be. Okay, or we may need to redefine those before we can run it. And there we have imported our workflow from uh, another schema. That's the end of our video on exporting and importing your Oracle Data Miner workflows from one schema to another. Here are my contact details if you want to uh, contact me about anything regarding Oracle Data Miner or anything else. And here's my blog or you can follow me on Twitter.